gardeners, did you know there's a plant that's not only beautiful, but also works wonders at keeping pests at bay? Yes, I'm talking about nasturtiums. In the next few minutes, you'll not only know which pests this superhero plant will keep away, but you'll also know how to grow them from seed in one week without even watering them. Nasturtiums work as a natural pest repellent by releasing an airborne chemical that deters pests along with their peppery scent. Nasturtium can be interplanted with certain crops to repel pests due to their peppery aroma and flavor. Many pests will fly right past nasturtiums because of their smell. Did you know mosquitoes considered the deadliest animal in the world will fly past nasturtium because of its smell? Plant nasturtium around doors, patios, porches, or wherever you want to keep mosquitoes down to a minimum. Cucumber beetles, the Colorado potato beetle, the Mexican bean beetle, cabbage loopers, and cabbage worms will also fly right past nasturtium because of its smell. The plant can repel a variety of other common garden pests as well, including white flies, squash bugs, several beetles, aphids, mealybugs, mites, and thrips. Try planting a vining variety between rows of squash, cucumbers, pumpkins, winter squash, and watermelon to keep cucumber beetles at bay. As a bonus, nasturtium also deter squash bugs from landing on your summer and winter squash. Plant nasturtiums with or near your kale, collards, and cruciferous vegetables to repel cabbage loopers from your garden. Got white flies? Plant nasturtiums near peppers and eggplants to reduce white flies in your garden. Plant nasturtiums with beans to help repel Mexican bean beetles. Nasturtiums also repel cabbage worms, which can eat entire leaves overnight. While nasturtiums repel unwanted insects, it also attracts beneficial insects such as ladybugs, hoverflies, and lacewings. Got white flies? No problem. Lacewings are white flies' natural enemy. Got aphids? Don't worry about it. Ladybugs, lacewings, and hoverflies love eating aphids. In fact, ladybugs eat up to 50 aphids a day. Ladybugs eat mealybugs, scales, and mites as well as aphids. Hoverfly larvae eat thrips, mealybugs, leafhoppers, and other sap feeding insects. Did you know that nasturtiums can be used as a trap plant? AKA sacrificial crop, which is a plant that attracts pests away from nearby crops to protect them. Plant nasturtium about five to six feet away from plants you want to protect when using nasturtium as a trap plant. Both aphids and flea beetles are attracted to nasturtiums. So nasturtiums can be planted as a trap plant near plants that also attract these harmful insects to lure those insects to nasturtiums. Plants like milkweed, honeysuckle, coneflowers, black-eyed Susans, joe pieweed, and rose bushes all attract aphids. Broccoli, kale, cabbage, and lettuce are all crops that attract flea beetles. These are all plants that can benefit from nasturtium being planted nearby. To top it off, nasturtiums generally germinate in only seven to 14 days. I planted cherry rose nasturtium seeds and they germinated in only five days. All I used was a self-watering seed tray, peat pellets, and a grow light. 
I set my seed tray up on my enclosed porch, filled the tray with water, added peat pellets, wet the peat pellets, and let them sit for a few minutes, added nasturtium seed, just below the surface of the peat, turned on the grow light, came back in five days, and voila, I had nasturtium. I planted them out in the yard after the plants were about four inches tall. And guess what? I didn't even have to pour water in that seed tray again. If the reasons we already discussed aren't enough reasons for you to want to grow nasturtium, did you know you can eat it as well? Try them in a salad. I haven't had it myself yet, but I hear it tastes great. In summary, nasturtiums can be a powerful ally in your garden, not only adding beauty, but also serving as a natural pest control method and a food source for you. I encourage you to plant nasturtiums in your own garden and experience their pest repellent magic firsthand. Check the description box for links to products mentioned in this video. As an Amazon associate, I earn from qualifying purchases. Share your nasturtiums adventures in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more gardening tips and adventures. Let's create beautiful thriving gardens together. See you next time.